Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Fab and Five. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin Williams. Welcome, thank you so much for joining me. This is my Fab and Five series where I post a video that is five minutes or less every Saturday at 12 p.m. EST, so let's get started. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing two high-end luxe products, and we're going to be testing if they're actually worth the money today. So these are from Patrick Ta. These are the first ever products I've ever purchased from Patrick Ta, so I'm super pumped about it. This is the Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo that perfectly defines shapes and brings color to your complexion for a modern, seamless, sculpted look. This is the actual product. As you can see, this is the cream bronzer and it has a little plastic cover. And so that's perfect for when you use the powder bronzer, then you're not going to get it in the cream product. And then obviously this one down here is the powder. This is the lightest shade duo. It is called She's Statuesque. And the last product that we have to test today is the Patrick Ta Sculpt Contour Brush. So this actually goes kind of along with it. It does, it's not included. You buy it separately, believe me. $45 Canadian for a little brush here. But it has incredible reviews. It is the most stunning little contour brush I've ever seen. So high hopes, high hopes. It's quite dense, but it does have some give to it. So hopefully we can get a perfect little contour contour going on. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead off camera and apply my foundation and then I'll come back and we'll do this. Okay guys, so foundation's on and I just spot concealed my blemishes. So obviously we have the cream contour here. We're going to start with that. We're going to contour, then I'll set my face and then I'll put the bronzer on to bring some warmth and a little more color. So this brush is definitely nice and dense, which I like. I like that shade. I'm just kind of buffing it up. Yeah, I like this brush. It does really just fit under that cheekbone perfectly. Yeah, it does say to stamp, which I agree. You get like the best contour, the most like sculpted, chiseled look when you stamp. But yeah, I definitely think you get a better application when you stamp for sure. I just think it like builds perfectly. Seems quite blendable as well. Like it's really just working into the foundation nicely. So far, this brush I already love it. I already think it's worth the money. The thing with brushes too is like, if you take good care of them, they can last forever. Especially good quality brushes, you can use it over and over and over and over and over. It's not like it's a product where it runs out. Yeah, it definitely blends perfectly. Looks like it's a part of the makeup. Let's see if this brush is small enough to do the nose. Sometimes I'll take my contour brushes and kind of pinch it makes it a little thinner. If you want like a super, super, super precise contour on the nose, I would recommend a smaller brush, but it definitely works. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and do concealer and set my makeup off camera, and I will be right back to do the brush. Actually, I'm really liking it. It looks so incredibly natural. It looks so smooth, doesn't look patchy, doesn't accentuate texture. Like it looks smooth and it's the perfect shade for my skin tone and it's not too overbearing, like it's the perfect natural yet still glamorous contour, which is exactly what I look for. So I actually really, really like it. Uh, let's go ahead and test the bronzer. I usually go over the contour and then bring it up into the cheeks a little bit more, kind of brush it upwards. That's nice. It really just adds like the perfect amount of color. I really love that. It's, it's not to say that like, I don't love some of my other bronzers and contours the same, but I just think that this is really nice. And you do get quite a bit of product. So, so far, so good. At this point, I do really love it and think it's worth the money. As you can see up close, it looks very smooth, um, natural, a part of the makeup. Really love these so far. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is finish up my makeup. Then I'm gonna come back at the end of the day and just show you what it's looking like. No, does it actually last all day? So I will be back at the end of the day to show you guys how it's looking. Hey guys, so I'm just popping in at the end of the day. It has been at least 10 hours. The contour, perfect. No fading, no patching. It's great. I honestly have no complaints. It is pricey, so if it's not in your budget range, you can find really great products in a much, you know, cheaper price point. But it's a really incredible product. Quality is great. And I absolutely love the, br uh, the brush. So I definitely recommend both products. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye.